So a picture is circulating the internet, right? I get it. Already conspiracy. Okay, maybe, maybe, or maybe some inside information got out. Look, the UFC has what's called a war room. And Dana White films all sorts of things out of the war room. The uh, now you know segment, just by example. The way that that looks is they put the date, right? In this particular case, it's International Fight Weekend, which is the July 2nd. And then you put the card. And just both names are right by there, so you have an easy reference point. A picture from within the war room that if you blow up, you can read the wall that has International Fight Week's card on it. And the expected co-main event, as was listed from said photograph, is Chemayev versus Nate Diaz. Now, the whole question is, do you believe it? It's one of those spots where I personally do, as long as you allow me to give you the caveat, a lot of times what goes up on that wall is not signed. It's not agreed to. It's this is what we're going for. So uh, along that vein, by no means am I announcing to you, it's going to be Chemayev, it's going to be Diaz, and it's going to be July 2nd. But do I believe that that was legitimate? It was not Photoshopped. It's not a spoof. It's not an attempt for attention. And that that is legitimately up on the wall in the war room at the UFC. Yeah, I do. Yeah, sure. For a couple of real simple reasons. Adesanya versus Cannoneer was to be the main event. Now that fight's going to happen, and we know that. We just haven't been told when. Another match that fits that same criteria is Leon versus Kamar. That fight has been announced, almost a record. Almost a record amount of days has gone by since that fight has been announced, not being given a location or a date. So that was also believed as the Turner rate Con Conor McGregor coming. Like there was all sorts of speculation on that, but Jared Cannonier tweeted out a day ago that he had signed his contract to fight Adesanya, but he followed that up by saying, more big news to come. And there's really not a lot more news after you sign a contract to fight Adesanya that we can't connect the dots on. It's going to be under the unified rules. It's going to be 185 pounds. It's going to be a five-round contest. It's going to be on pay-per-view. The championship's on the line. Like, like, we kind of got it all. Unless you were getting headlining placement on the biggest card of the year. That would be news. And Jared Cannonier did tell us there would be news, so I believe it. I also looked at some other fights on there. Strickland versus Alex Pierre. Just by example, we've all been told that fight's going to happen. I thought we had a date for that. I thought that that was set in stone because I know Strickland personally. I know that he's in training camp and has been for a period of time. But that was also rumored to be taking place on July 2nd. Then there was another fight that popped off. Maybe the one that I liked the most, just from an X's and O's, which was Brian Barbarina taking on Robbie Lawler. I did not see that coming. Did you guys see that one? Lawler versus Bob Arena makes a ton of sense, is an awesome fight. That was an undercard match, but it was still captured within this picture that's circulating online. Brian Barbarina got asked about it, and he confirmed, yes, I am fighting Robbie Lawler on July 2nd. Okay, not a ton of evidence, right? Like, I mean, your witness, the jury is still out. I will just share with you that I believe it. And I do think that Adesanya versus Cannoneer is a tough sell. As far as being a headliner of a pay-per-view, that is just a tough sell. It just is. There's not going to be a ton to happen there, but you have to have the matches that are the right matches, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Now, you can get away with it if you strengthen the rest of the card. And Chamay versus Diaz, that works very much. That works more so now than it did three months ago. And you guys re might remember six months ago when Dana said he was going to make that fight. And was it Nate? Am I remember that right? Or did Dana say he was going to give Nick Chemayev? But you remember that. Dana only said it once and it didn't go anywhere. We never heard about it again. But Chemayev was looking like this absolute destruction machine. And now it looks like somebody that if they're good enough on the ground, they can protect themselves with. If they can take a punch and they can throw some punches back, you can see some real action, right? Like Chemayev versus Nate Diaz has a very different feel now. I hope that they don't mess with anything. I hope it stays three fives. Nate is probably going to be mad at me for saying that. I, I just think if it's not a title fight or a main event, I just, right, I'm a purist. I think then it, it's got to be three fives. So I think you start to confuse people. You start to wonder why. Why is this co-main co -main event 25 minutes, but this co-main is 15? But I also do think that it changes the match. Look, that's an interesting one. We're all going to come out for that. We're going to have plenty of time for back and forth. My general premise was, one, to bring you this circulating photograph. It's, it's taken over the interwebs in the MMA space. But two, to share my opinion, I think it's real. 
That doesn't mean they're locked. It doesn't mean they're done. It doesn't mean they have agreements. It doesn't even mean both sides have been contacted. It means this is what the organization would like to do. But Nate has been crystal clear, get me in there and do it now. And if Chemayev does go against Nate, by the way, it still opens up the question of what happens in the main event of the ABC card that we thought Chemayev's win over Burns advanced him to. So there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of things up in the air. As far as the picture, as far as the rumor, as far as it a conspiracy, and it was very well done by some art department with half a brain, no. I think it's a legitimate photo.